This is a supine march plus kick. So essentially advancing the supine march just a tiny bit and requiring a little bit more abdominal control as we extend a leg out in front. So a couple things to keep in mind as we start in that march position on our back supine. So in this position, paying attention to where the ribs are in space, if you're flaring and arching through the low back. So thinking about coming to more of a neutral pelvis position if you are in that more anterior tilt, thinking about posteriorly tucking the pelvis just a tiny bit, but without clenching on the butts. So by this point, we've kind of practiced some of those pelvic tilts and finding our pelvis orientation in space. And we're also working on some hamstring work and of course our deep abs here. So inhale and then exhale. So as we think about extending limbs away from us, we want to maintain that pelvis control. Watch that we're not rocking side to side and feeling that deep abdominal tension down below. As we exhale, we lift from the bottom up. So pelvic floor and up, feel hip bones draw together. Then the tension comes up to the belly button and then all the way up the body and out the mouth. So thinking about an inhale and exhale. And then I'm going to kick one leg out in front. Okay, so the opposite foot, inhale, exhale, kick. So I'm essentially just kicking one leg out in front, but I'm doing that with that brace and with that abdominal control. And back. So you're going to feel those low abs kick on as we work to stabilize our pelvis from dumping forward and back and tipping side to side. So this is your supine march with kick. Notice I connect and find the brace, initiate with the exhale, and about two seconds later is when I add the kick and a slight hold, feeling the abdominal tension, and then return. 